Hey guys, today we are going to review how to find the volume of prisms and pyramids. So let's start with rectangular prisms. To find the volume of a prism, we're going to use the formula V equals area of the base times the height. And our base in a rectangular prism is a rectangle, so we're just going to multiply the two side lengths that form a right angle in our base. Remember, rectangular prisms are special because you can use any of the opposite faces as the base. You just have to make sure that you circle the height as the distance between those two bases. So I could have used those two that I just highlighted. I'm going to use these two as my bases this time, which makes my height 9. So my volume formula for a rectangular prism is V equals area of the base times the height. I just circled my height as 9, so I'm going to plug that in and then cross it out so I don't accidentally use it again. And now I'm going to find B, the area of the rectangular base, by doing 3 times 11. So the area of the base is 33. So I'm going to plug that into the formula. So now to find the volume, I will do 33 times 9. So the volume of this rectangular prism is 297 millimeters cubed. Okay, next I have a triangular prism. It's the same formula, V equals area of the base times the height, but this time my base is a triangle. So we need to do the base times height divided by two to find the area of the triangle. So let's find the volume of this triangular prism. It's going to be V equals area of the base times the height. My bases are these triangles. So that means my height is 10 since that's the distance between them. Now I just need to find the area of the base by doing the base times the height of the triangle divided by 2. So the base of the triangle is going to be 8 meters because that forms a right angle with the 6 meters. So to find the area of the base, I will do 8 times 6 divided by 2, which is 48 divided by 2, which is 24. So the area of the base is 24, so to find the volume, I do 24 times 10. So the volume of this triangular prism is 240 meters cubed. Okay, now I get into pyramids. It is similar, except I'm going to have a one-third since it's a pyramid instead of a prism. So let's start with the rectangular pyramid. I'm going to do one-third times the area of the base, which is going to be a rectangle. So I'll just multiply the length and the width through the base and the height times the height of the pyramid. So let's practice finding the volume of this rectangular pyramid. I'm going to use the formula V equals one third times the area of the base times the height. And the base of this pyramid is a rectangle and the height is 12. So I'm going to plug that into my formula and then cross it out so I don't accidentally use it again. And now I'm going to find the area of the rectangle by doing 7 times 3, since those are the dimensions of the rectangle, which is 21. So I'm going to plug that in for 21, and I'm going to fill out the rest of this formula. So to find the volume, I'll do 1 third times 21 times 12. 1 third times 21 is 7, so the volume will be 7 times 12, which is 84. So the volume of this rectangular pyramid is 84 centimeters cubed. Okay, then last one, triangular pyramid. It's the same formula, one third area of the base times the height of the prism. The base is a triangle, so I will do base times height divided by 2 to find the area of the base. So let's practice finding the volume of this triangular pyramid by doing V equals 1 third times the area of the base times the height. My base is this triangle here. 
and that makes the height of this pyramid 21. So I'm gonna plug that in for H into my formula and then cross it out so I don't use it again. And now I'm gonna find B, the area of the triangular base, by doing the base of the triangle, which is 30, times the height of the triangle, which is 10. So it'll be 30 times 10 divided by two. 30 times 10 is 300. So the area of the base is 300 divided by two, which is 150. So I'm gonna plug that in for B into my formula. So the volume will be 1 third times 150 times 21. So 1 third times 150 is 50. So the volume can be found by doing 50 times 21. So the volume of this rectangular pyramid is 1,050 inches cubed.